Get on your feet, boy. Hey. Oh, I think I am. Good job. You'll be all right. Your presence here will help us. I hope so. I'll drop in again later. Thanks very much. Goodbye, Doctor. Thanks, Elsie. If my mother's all right and okay, well, I'll be back in school Monday. All right. Bruce, take my milk route for me, will you? Sure I will. Atta boy. Elsie will help me. You'll need someone to help you. Stay awake. Mother, hello. I'm sorry to have called you home from school, son. Perfectly all right. I'm glad of any excuse to see your mother. Now, tell me what happened. I saw the weirdest, most awful creature, like a ghost in this house. It was in the blue room. That room hasn't been open since. Well, since Dad disappeared. I opened it the other day to get some papers from the old desk. There was a weird, ghostly creature there whose face I couldn't see. A creature without a face? That, sir, was a ghost. I screamed and fainted, and when I came to, the creature was gone. He was undoubtedly a prowler, but we have no money. What could he have been after? He was searching for this ring, I'm sure of it. Your father, the night he disappeared, gave me that ring and told me to guard it carefully. But if it was this ring he was after, he's bound to return. And I'll be waiting for him, Mother, in the blue room. Oh, no, Frank, you mustn't. Don't do it, Mr. Frank. That ghost ain't got no faith. I'm sleeping there tonight, Jeff, and you're going to keep me company. Mr. Frank, I'll do anything you ask me, but not sleep with no gold.
Donald, are you hurt? Oh, I got a wallop in the head that was not delivered by any ghost. Then I was right. Someone's after that ring. The mystery is, where could he have gone? He didn't come out in that hole, come out leaning out that far. It frightens me. I won't feel safe here when you go back to school. I think it'd be better for you to close up the house and go to Aunt Mary's in the morning, Mother. You take that ring. You're better able to guard it than I am. Yeah, Mr. Frank, take this gun and blow the other half of that ghost's head off if he comes fooling around. All right, Mother, I'll, I'll take the ring back to Pardale with me. I'm going to examine this ring under a microscope and find out why they're up. Have you located Marilyn? Yes, and he has the ring. I know that. Listen, just what's in it for me if I get that ring for you? Gold. Lots of it. Where is this gold? What has the ring to do with it? Don't ask so many fool questions. When you bring me the ring, I'll answer those questions. All right, I'll get you that ring. This afternoon, Marwell will be at a track meet, and I'll be there. I'll get going. You too, boys. Well, the sophomores clean up with Frank Marwell on their track team. How about Peters in the 220? He'll never beat Merrill. Oh, well. They're lining up for the 220. And say, if Frank wins, he'll put the sophomores in the lead. Frank's got to beat Peters. He will. Come to your mark. Get set. Yeah, you're a fine one. Losing to Marwell puts us off two points up on us. Don't worry. We'll be ahead after I win the pole vault. What makes you so sure you're gonna beat Hirsch Mayo? You never have yet. I fixed it so Mayo won't be here. What do you mean won't be here? Come on over and have a laugh. Just received word that Hirsch Mayo won't be here. Won't be here? Gee, that's tough. I'm sorry, Marywell, but unless you can produce another vaulter, I'll have to declare the contest won by the juniors. Why don't you get the great Marywell to vault for his class? What about it, Frank? Well, I'll do my best. Okay, go over and get off those sweat clothes and get ready. How high to start, Peters? How high's the bar now? 13 feet, pretty high. Okay with me. But Frank's a chump to vault against Peters. I bet Frank never vaulted in his life. Put it up to 14. Peters couldn't clear it. What show is Frank? But Frank will clear it. I know he will. Come on. Nice bowler that time, Peters. Didn't you know that Marywell held a prep school bowling record before I came here? <laughs> You're a smart guy, you are. That was a great idea of yours, taking out Hirsch Mayo, whom you might have beaten, and putting in Merrillwell. We lost the meat, but we'll take it on the chin, won't we, fellas? Yeah. Sure. Well, it was kind of a tough break, wasn't it, fellas? When I was in college, we didn't give up quite so easily, especially when it was a good feed in the dancing site. Well, it's too late to start now. Oh, no, not by a long shot. What do you mean? Well, listen to me, I'll tell you here. 
Hey, where'd you find this patrol wagon? It was here, and a friend of mine owns this garage. Do those mugs look like real cops? Sure. Remember now, don't break up the party until I give the signal. I got you, son. Thanks a lot. This is going to be a riot. That's all right, Peter. Leave everything to me. Okay, Monty. <laughs> Hold it here a minute. Everything's going fine. I'll get that ring from Marywell tonight. And if anything goes wrong, they'll blame the college boys, and I'll be in the clear. Get the men started, and be sure they understand. I want Marywell brought to me at the ship. Right, Chief. Well, stay awake. All right, boys, get in. Harris, you drive. We didn't do anything. These favors were stolen from a store in town. They couldn't have been. They were supplied by the juniors. Tell it to the judge. Come on, men. Get him in the wagon. right out of jail tomorrow morning. What about tonight? Look, you have to have an order from a judge, and there's no judge in town tonight. Well, I guess that's the end of the party. Well, why should it be? The fellas from my class are here, and there's the music. Come on, fellas. Strike up the band. All right, boys. All right, men, get him out. All except that fresh guy they call Mirawell. Pile out, you guys. Hey, what is this? What kind of a sleeper? Never mind where you are. This is where you get off. Yeah. Hey, what's the big idea? Where'd you get that uniform? Doesn't look right to me. Back inside, tough guy. I'll show you where I got my uniform. Say, come on, fellas. These aren't real cops. It's a frame-up. That's what I thought. Hey, let me just sleep. Yeah, I'm glad they couldn't speak it out. All right. Who we'll puts up to this? Come on, spill it. Let go. Let go, I'll tell you. It was young House Peters and, and another guy they called Monty. I might have known it was Peters. Let go, them, fellas. We'll get after the ones responsible for this. Come on. All right, fellas, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Frank. It certainly is. I wouldn't have it happen for the world. Oh, 
right, fellas, there they are. It's Merriwell, fellas. You can look at it, but I know it isn't for sale. Hmm. Oh, there isn't very much gold in it. It isn't worth much to me. Maybe not to you. Well, see you again, boys. Well, so long. Bruce, let me see that. Let me have that ring there that's not supposed to have any gold in it. Here, let's have it. No gold. <laughs> Hey, this is too small. This isn't my ring. What? I got it. Good. Beat it to the top. Where did he go? Which way? Down go? the stairs. Come on, fellas. I wonder if this money's any good. I think go there. Got her. Step on, they're catching it. Wide open, Nick. 